morning everyone. Hope everyone is having a fabulous day. We are going out this Sunday morning to do our Asheville drive testing. This is going to be our test route one first. Our GPS did lock on this morning. I waited long enough in the driveway for it to lock on. It was stuck on I-26 before. Now it's letting me enable. So we'll see. I actually haven't done this route on 10.11.1. I did it on 10.11 and unfortunately it did not do well at all. Um, regardless, we are going up to Asheville uh, even if it does poorly. Um, just so we can get a get a uh, good test. We, I am actually going to Michigan um, next week. Um, starting Saturday. Uh, so one week from now we will be in Michigan. Uh, for a week, so I'm gonna do some testing there. Um, might even do a video. I'm planning to get my trailer hitch installed up there, so I probably will try and do that. Uh, figure out a bunch of those things. So look for those videos coming. So I turned on the blinker because that guy was there just to be courteous to let him know I was turning in. I'm pressing the accelerator because it slowed down, I think, because of that car right there. It is speeding up good. It gets still a little bit too far to the right, but it is better than previous. You can see right here, it's slowing down too much. Press the accelerator. And it should be able to merge in good. And it did. And see, it swerves back. It like gets hesitant. I don't know if it's the sun or something else that causes that, but that's what happens every single time. So my goal today is to make I might skip the target drive just to make today a little bit quicker, but um, my goal is to do a test test route one, then go to Asheville, do those three tests, and then test route two back home. So that gives me um, five videos for you guys, uh, so we can keep track um, of every version. Uh, Asheville is gonna probably be every few versions unless I'm just happen to be up there. I might do it at the end of April as well. Uh, I'm gonna be near Asheville, so that would be a good time to do it for me. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and we'll get to the video. See how it does getting off the highway here. <clears throat> Blinker turned on at appropriate time. It's because of this right here is why it doesn't get over soon enough. Because it, it sees the two emerging lanes come together. And I'm hoping with single stack that might fix that problem. We'll see. So that problem is still there. Uh, I don't know if it's the sun or something else that just freaks out because it just doesn't do it appropriately. So it finally went through that yield sign properly and then got over. It still slowed down a little bit too much. It should maintain speed or get increased speed, not slow down in speed. I'm gonna go ahead and slow the speed down here because it is a 35 up ahead should not be going 45, not to mention the red lights red. So I pressed the accelerator and that's why it jerked the wheel because it got closer than it wanted to get to that car. I'm sure they have purposely made that, um, the safety gap larger until their confidence in the system has gone up. And that, the safety gap actually causes a number of issues, like that one. Man, I hate politics. Just 
trashes the whole area. Look at this. We have a, I guess, local election or whatever coming up. Um, yeah, I hate it so much. Okay, had a venom break there and slowed down for no apparent reason. Turn on the blinker, they go around this corner as well as we're going way too fast. I forgot to slow down the speed. The only reason it slowed down so much is because uh, of this curve in the road. The only reason it slowed down so much. And hopefully we can make it through this intersection. Okay. Yeah, because it can't read the no turn on red. So if that light turned red, we'd most likely have a disengagement. We did have one there last time. My preference on this road is to be in the left lane here, unless there are cars that just want to go much faster. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get over in this lane. Just to kind of train the car to go ahead and get over now, versus what it wants to do is pass this light. See that truck that's turning up in the middle of the intersection there? Um, that's where it wants to get over, which is not a good spot in my opinion. It's acceptable, but not good. Just to be extra clear, it would be changing lanes right about here. And it just, it should wait, if it's gonna change lanes, just wait about here to change lanes or get back where I change lanes. This next turn is gonna be our major um, test, if you will. This is always the hardest part of this whole test uh, for the car. And it's probably gonna get in the wrong lane, I bet. Maybe. Nope, got in, got in the correct lane. Now last time, no, see, it tries to get over it. That's wrong. I will fight this battle until the grave. That is the incorrect lane. Because see, no. See what, I uh, wish I could've gone behind that car. Okay, I'm having to press the accelerator to give it a little bit more confidence. See? It gets in this lane. Okay, that car is actually going there. But see, what happens is you get in this lane, and you have to get back over. So that was technically wrong. It just didn't have to disengage. So it's still a zero disengagement. This is uh, my destination right here. We are not done. We'll get back to you once we're back on the road. Back, everyone. Let's see how it does. So, so far, zero disengagements. So far, I did do that turn wrong for sure, um, but it didn't do a disengagement. It didn't have to disengage to make it. Um, up here is most likely, I'm not, we're gonna have the car prove me wrong, but it's gonna fail at these turns up here. I almost guarantee it. It just failed the last like eight versions. It's gotten a little bit of depression on it. It can't detect a turn lane. The last version was the worst it's ever been um, because it got into this lane. Like, like what it's doing now. That's the disengagement. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, it's a little bit depressing. Like, that isn't, they ever done that until the last version. That's the worst it's ever done. Because it's, it tried to get into the turn lane. It can't see the turn lane far enough up ahead, and I'm not sure. Like, if it was seeing the turn lane, it would register on the screen, but it's not. Like, right here. Not a disengagement. Once they fix these turn lanes, let's do a camera button every time. Maybe they'll record in a lot of data. Um, like, this is gonna be fantastic. It's like the basics, like, look up ahead, see it's a turn lane. Either the camera is not high enough resolution. Like, this is the worst it's ever been on these turn lanes. So that's three disengagements strictly because it can't see the turn lanes. So right here is the last, but this that's what surprised me last time. No. Not gonna do it either. So we had, what, four disengagements on this drive strictly because they can't see the turn lanes. That is, that it's just gotten a little bit depressing, like, 
it used to do it great back in the eights. And then ever since then, it's, it's messed up. It hasn't done it right, ever. In the last like 10 versions. Um, and so it's just like, wh when is it gonna actually do it right? You know? So that was the end of this drive. We're not actually gonna go up the mountain uh, yet. But we are gonna go turn around right here. Again, that's the biggest flaw on this version and any of the last previous versions is that it can't do the turn correctly. Is that it, it just, it doesn't um, recognize this turn lane. It just goes into the turn lane. I'm hoping with this new version with the release notes that's promising that the new data will keep it from uh, keep it from going in those turn lanes. Well, now, if since this is not wide release yet, I am one of the few people, like, relatively speaking, that have 10.11.1. Uh, then I'm hoping our data is going to be fed into the neural net and the next version is going to correct this issue. That's my hope. So we'll see if maybe by um, summer if this issue will be corrected. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.